This is Santa and today we're gonna teach Santa how to walk. For this we need to give him an armature first. And we could set up an inverse kinematic bone modifier stack so that we don't need to animate every single bone and instead the complete leg will follow the movement of a target bone. Unfortunately I suck at animation. So why don't we let Godot make the animation work for us automatically? For this Godot comes with its own IK implementation. Currently this is handled by the skeleton IK3D node, but it's already planned to be re-implemented in a similar way like in Blender, so maybe this will not be up to date when you see it in the future. Actually we need two IK nodes, one for each leg, and also we need a target node and a ray cast for each leg. I will come back to them later. First set up the IK node with the upper leg as a root bone and the tip bone should be the foot or something. You can experiment with the settings depending on the bone structure of your model. In general this should look similar like how we should set up an IK modifier stack in Blender. Also select here the target node that will control the IK chain later. So the basic idea here is that the rays will look for a surface to step on so that the target node can be moved to this position. Moving the target node will then place the bones of the icon rig for us so that we don't need to do any animation work here at all. To handle all the code needed for this I created a convenience class and started by getting reference to all the important nodes that we will need access to. Very important, you need to start the IK processing in the IK node, otherwise we will not see any effect. Then the rest of the script is simply focusing on doing one step after the other. No pun intended. Look, when you are walking, you normally start by setting one foot in front of you, then push your body forward until it's more or less over the foot, and then pull the other foot in front and start the circle all over again. And the script is basically just doing this in a complicated way, by checking in the process function if the character moved far enough that a new step needs to be done, and then starting the step by placing one foot in front. The next step can only occur when the first step was finished, so the script is also constantly checking if the body becomes in line with the foot that was placed in front. After this the cycle repeats and the next foot will be placed in front of the character. The actual moving of the character can be handled in a different place and regardless how fast or slow the character is moving, the steps will always adapt automatically. Is this the best way to handle it? I don't know, but it's a start and I finally managed to use inverse kinematics in a project, so stay tuned if you want to find out how it's going from here.